Hello and welcome to the fourth installment of our child safety series in association with Reliance Rental Insurance. I'm Animesh and with me of course is Sergius Barreto, our content development editor. We are seated on two wheels, so of course this video will talk about child safety on two wheels. So Sergius, let me get right down to it. How do I keep my kids safe on two wheels? Short answer, you keep them off. The two really? Wheels. Uh, yeah. No rides whatsoever? Uh, ideally, in an ideal world, yes, Animesh. As you can see, uh, two wheelers are too open to the, to the world, right, around you. Uh, so you're exposed to the elements in case of any mishap or a fall or a spill. Uh, you're going to be in, coming in contact with the earth or with vehicles around and uh, that's too dangerous. It's, it's too dangerous for, for children whose bodies are still uh, developing and not yet strong enough. Uh, so ideally, yeah, I'd say try and keep them off two wheels as far as possible. So bottom line, keep them off two wheels and if you do need to travel, use public transport, right? As far as possible, as far as practical, yes, certainly rickshaws, trains, uh, uh, buses, buses, buses. Uh, yeah, you know, so, certainly. But I, I understand, yeah, sometimes you're going to have to get onto a Yeah, there may be public transport strikes, for instance. So, what do we do in that case? And let's start off by talking about infants. Yeah, so there again, uh, the answer is no. Absolute no, Absolutely no. not. Yeah, uh, the, the problem is uh, an infant cannot hold him or herself on, onto the bike, right? Somebody has to hold the child in their arms. So, that person is not going to have a grip on the bike. So you're trying to hold a baby and hold yourself onto, onto the bike, that's dangerous. Should you have a spill, uh, you know, the baby's going to go flying somewhere uh, or you could of course strap uh, a child like... like uh, yeah, you, know, you have those uh, carriers, right? Exactly, exactly. You could do that, but that's again dangerous because it's an infant. Uh, if you have a spill, you're going to be falling onto the child, uh, right? Uh, the weight of your body Correct. is going to be on the child's body, on an infant's body. Correct. Uh, so that's, uh, that, that's, that's really, I mean, ghastly. So, so I would, if I would you not have recommend. an infant with you, go the extra mile, please use public transport, avoid using your two-wheelers. Uh, yes, absolutely. I mean, uh, rickshaws, buses, trains, they are quite cost-efficient, uh, you know. Uh, in fact, sometimes more cost-efficient than, than bikes, you know. So, uh, certainly you'd want to keep your child safe and uh, comfortable as well, you know, away from the pollution uh, on, on, on a bike. Correct. So, it certainly makes sense. Let's talk about toddlers now, slightly older kids. Uh, what about them? Are they can can yeah, they you be? could you could uh, toddlers can get can get on bikes. Uh, you know, at around the age of four or five, uh, short trips, uh, school drops. Uh, you could you could look at uh, you could look at bikes. But uh, there again, the bike you're sitting on is uh, the scooter. The vehicle. Yep. Yeah. Practical is, city to city riding scooter. Exactly. Is the vehicle of choice? Mm -hmm. I, I think for toddlers. And why is that? Well, two reasons, uh, or rather, the front and the back. If you look at the front, uh, you know, you can have a toddler sitting on there as long as they yeah. don't. Uh, Interfere. Obscure the rider's vision. Yeah. Exactly, uh, because they're going to have a firm footing on a, on a floorboard, uh, right? And they can they can stay safely onto onto the bike. Uh, the back is safer as well because the rear is shrouded on, on scooters, you know. So uh, unlike unlike a bike which is uh, open completely and open, yeah, exactly. Yeah. You might have, and a you even have a hot silencer over there. Exactly, you might have a sari guard, but you have a hot silencer, or you sometimes can have a leg going through the guards, which are uh, correct. Uh, well, fairly broad sometimes. So. Uh, a motorbike is, is a little unsafe and, and you take, take this bike for example, you know, you have these stylized tanks. Uh, you're not going to be able to keep a child safely or comfortably secure on sitting on a tank. So front or back, it's a little, a little dangerous. So uh, sorry bikers, but yes. scooters, the most safer <laughs> option over here. Of course, when you're an adult, a protective riding gear is a must. So of course, for kids, protective riding gear is a must too. But do you actually get protective riding gear for kids? Uh, you do. So as soon as you get your child onto a bike, uh, get some protective gear, uh, right? Uh, whether it's uh, a helmet, I mean, that's the basics. You have to have a helmet uh, by law as well. Uh, you do get a lot of helmets, right? From uh, small to medium to large sizes. Okay. Uh, so, <coughs> and, and they're available in any any shop. Uh, but these small to medium size helmets, uh, are all of them ISI safe uh, or ISI no, marked? No, they aren't, they aren't. Uh, not all of them are. Uh, in fact, you're quite often going to come across non-ISI marked helmets than you are the ISI ones for, okay. for children. Okay. Uh, but at least it's better than nothing. Uh, in okay. the absence of, I mean, any protection, you know, a helmet uh, with its, uh, you know, fiber layer and the thermocol is at least some protection. Uh, better than having nothing at all, uh, you know. Uh, try and look for the ISI ones, uh, of course, but I would certainly recommend in the absence of ISI, don't go without any helmet. Okay, so you know. better to have something than to have nothing at all. <laughs> absolutely. And uh, absolutely. what about protective riding gear? Do you get those yes. separately or will, will, will the ones that you get as part of biking kits or skateboarding kits, they have yeah, knee pads absolutely. and elbow pads as well? Exactly, they do? exactly. You can, do, you, you can use those as well. Elbow, knee pads uh, will save their knees and elbow some scrapes and bruises. 
Uh, you should wear those. Those are quite uh, quite effective. Uh, low speed, uh, which is anyway the speed you should be riding at, uh, right? Uh, when you're when you're with ch uh, children on board. So at low speeds, they are fairly effective. Uh, you and know. of course, clothing, uh, shoes, uh, long sleeve. Uh, I mean, long pants, uh, long sleeve shirts uh, will just protect uh, children. Uh, you know, in in case of any any mishap, you know. So uh, it's definitely the recommended way to to dress as far as uh, biking is concerned. Okay, that's as far as kids go. Now, uh, what about riders themselves? Do they need to keep any particulars in mind? Well, I've seen uh, all too often kids on the on the back of bikes dozing uh, while they're riding with their parents, uh -huh. and it, it scares me. Yeah. So. You know, try and ride at a sensible hour. Uh, you know, when your when your child is not going to struggle to stay awake. Maybe talk to them and keep them engaged, but not with a cell phone, right? They need to be holding on to you or or the or the bikes or grab the grab rails exactly yeah. or the grab rails. So keep them engaged with, with dialogue so that they stay awake. Uh, you know, so it's uh, it's easier for them to then hold on onto the bike. Uh, another precaution you can take is. Of course, ride far, far slower than you normally would. Uh, don't try any overtaking moves that you would normally try, uh, just because you want that extra margin of safety. Yeah, so you have to go the extra mile. It's your kid, after all. You can't afford to lose them. Yeah, absolutely. They are, and, and, they're, and they're too young, uh, you know, to, to recover from uh, bruises and uh, fractures and things like that. Well, you don't want to put them through that. So that's all the time we had on this particular video. Thank you so much for watching.